the joy of fasting. You're having coffee with Conrad. Conrad rocks! Welcome, welcome, welcome to another edition of Coffee with Conrad on ConradRocks.net. If you like iHeartRadio, just search for the Coffee with Conrad show. Otherwise, you can find me at ConradRocks.net. You can get the app and all that. Today, I'm going to be talking about the joy of fasting, juice fasting, the benefits of juice fasting. We're going to talk about two major things, breakthroughs in the spirit realm and also breakthroughs in the health realm. Amen. Now, I kind of feel guilty because sometimes when I do this particular type of fast, um, there's a point where it's not so much suffering. (laughs) I mean, you do go through a little bit of that in the beginning, and uh, a lot of people convey that to me. As soon as you get through the first three days after that, your body kind of gets used to it somehow. But I'm doing a juice fast, and I'm like, well, you know, I'm just going to talk to people. This is so this is so good um, that it, that I want to help people. And uh, you know, I'm not a doctor. You got to do the disclaimer. Yeah, you might die. Whatever. I mean, <laughs> I'm not a doctor, but this is things that I do more than once. And I saw that movie, Fat, Sick, and Nearly Dead, and it's a free movie that you can find on the internet. Just go to fat, sick, and nearly dead dot com. And this man found it so important to share this. He's made that video available for free. But I'm going to tell you, everybody that I turned this video on to, they went out and bought a juicer right after this movie. It's like an hour and a half movie. And they just juice their way to health, man. It's amazing. So we're going to talk about breakthroughs today in the spirit realm from fasting and also in the health realm. Okay, now I want you to think about something. The very first diet, before people started dying young, okay, now if you look at the diets, I know that sin comes on us and there's curses and all that stuff, and my heart shall not always strive with man, therefore I will number his days 120 years. But the original diet in Genesis 2, 9, and out of the ground made the Lord God to grow every tree that is pleasant to the sight, good for food, the tree of life also in the midst of the garden, and the tree of knowledge of good and evil, jump into 16. And the Lord God commanded the man, saying, Of every tree of the garden thou shalt freely eat. Now, diets do change over time. Noah, they started eating meat, remember? And uh, now we can eat pretty much anything. But if you look at the stuff that we eat now, you're going to see that it kills us, a lot of it. You know, all things are lawful for me. Therefore, but not all things are expedient. Therefore, I will not come under the bondage of any one thing. So we can kind of see that even though we're allowed to eat a lot of stuff, um, it can still kill us. We can die before our time. Now, God in the Bible says something about there being a lack. You know, we can construe this or look at it as possibly there not being enough nutrition in the food. There's a few verses in Scripture that talk about this in Hosea 4.10. For they shall eat and not have enough. They shall commit whoredom and shall not increase, because they have left off to take heed to the Lord. Micah 6.14, Thou shalt eat and not be satisfied. Isaiah 65.13, Therefore thus saith the Lord God, Behold, my servants shall eat, but ye shall, not, but ye shall be hungry. So, and it continues on. So today, um, if, if we look at this, you know, there's this original diet where everybody was healthy. Uh, Even after the sin, after the original fall, people lived a long time. And something happened after the flood, maybe maybe the nutrition left. I mean, there's lots of factors. But these are some things to think about. These are some things to think about. I'm not saying I've got this nailed down. But I will tell you that juice fasting has some amazing benefits. And we're going to talk about both the spiritual and and, and the health benefits that I have gained. We're going to talk about that after this. Get the Conrad Rocks app now. Listen anytime. Listen everywhere. The Conrad Rocks app is now available. 
You can now take Conrad Rocks wherever you go. Many tabs right at your fingertips. Podcasts, YouTube videos, Conrad Rocks News, Facebook page, Google+, Twitter, and more. All things Conrad Rocks in one convenient place. Download the Conrad Rocks app on Google Play or in the iPhone App Store. Dig deeper. Go higher. talking about fasting, the spiritual benefits, and the health benefits. Now, when I do a juice fast, like the Fat, Sick, and Nearly Dead.com movie that's for free, you can watch it. You'll see firsthand doctors talking about this fast, people actually going through it, and you'll see the benefits. I'm not juicing bad stuff. I'm juicing fruits and vegetables, uh, and I'm not drinking any dead juice. It's got to be alive. So that's, that's my principle. And yeah, some it tastes like your front lawn sometimes, but hey, get over it. You take medicine to get healthy, right? So sometimes medicine tastes bad, but you know on the other end of this tribulation is your reward. Now, I'm going to talk about some of the, the health benefits. Uh, the first three days of, of the fast, it's kind of like rough. Um, I think that's your first like detox or something. And But, but after that... I start noticing my body, it, it, it changes. My skin just feels healthy. I feel great. I, I don't know how to explain it. I do not sleep as much. And you know how I'm an insomniac. I, I always complain about um, not sleeping. Well, I don't even need my daytime nap oftentimes. And uh, talk about weight loss. Now, I'm not trying to shoot down all the other weight loss programs out there, but a lot of people are charging money to lose weight. And, you know, the the weight loss industry is like a multi-billion dollar industry when basically you just need to juice. I'm telling you, man, if you juice, you drop weight like a rock. And I'm not even going to tell you. People people see me now, they're like, oh, man, you're losing weight. Yeah, I'm losing it fast, too. And I'm losing it healthily. Now, also, like I said, th- this is probably closer to the Daniel fast, right? Let's talk about the spiritual kind of, of results that we get from fasting. Notice that Jesus, and I talk about this often in my podcasts, Jesus gave authority to the disciples to cast out demons, but they ran into one that they couldn't cast out, even though he had granted them authority. Well, the higher the level, the bigger the devil. And at this point, there was a man with a boy who threw himself into the fire, and it was because of unbelief, right? He says, because of your unbelief, you couldn't cast this one out. And then he says, this kind comes out, but by prayer and fasting. So we've seen that prayer and fasting is a way to increase your belief level, and it's attached to authority, right? Jesus had fasted 40 days and prayed, okay? Remember Nineveh, they they declared a fast for the entire city when Jonah came in. There's only four chapters. You can read it. It's not that hard. They fasted. The entire city was spared being destroyed. Uh, we've got Esther. Remember Esther? The whole the whole town fasted for Esther, and the entire nation of Israel was um, was saved. Heck, man, talking about the the 
demonic principality. Remember the prince of Persia that was withstood by an angel. Daniel fasted for 21 days. Now, it was he, he was eating pulse, or he was eating, um, what was he eating? Let's see. He just modified his diet a little bit. I'm looking here in Daniel 2. In those days, I, Daniel, was mourning three full weeks. I ate no pleasant bread, neither came flesh or wine in my mouth. Neither did I anoint myself at all till three whole weeks were fulfilled. So talk about an amazing deliverance just by, uh, well, not just by modifying your diet. We're going to talk about the true fasting at the end of this, okay? Um, but personally, I have had, I have seen breakthroughs happen in my life during fasts. Now, this is one of the things that I highly want to encourage you to do. Um, the reason I started fasting a long time ago, I read the scripture uh, in Matthew fifteen thirty two. Then Jesus called his disciples unto him and said, I have compassion on the multitude because they continue with me now three days and having nothing to eat. And I will not send them away fasting lest they faint in the way. So because of this scripture and, and many other examples of prophets in the Bible, I went out into the wilderness with just a tent. You know, I, w- I would go out uh, camping, and I would just seek the Lord with water only. And I'm going to tell you, that is amazing. It's really hard to do. <laughs> one of the reasons, I don't want to sound so holy, one of the reasons I went out in the wilderness is so I was nowhere near food. That was kind of the, one of the main reasons, because I didn't trust myself around food. But in some of those encounters, uh, I wrote, the Lord gave me some songs. I had some revelation. I had prophetic visions. There's a lot of stuff that happens through fasting. That it develops your relationship with the Lord. Also, a lot of us, I'm going to talk about deliverance. You know, deliverance is the children's bread. When, when the lady was coming up, to uh, to the Lord Jesus saying, cast the devil out of my daughter, and she wasn't a Jew, right? She wasn't in the covenant people. He goes, deliver. it's not me to give the children's bread to dogs, okay? So deliverance is the children's bread. And when I say that, uh, the Bible talks about many people being oppressed of the devil. It doesn't say they're always oppressed, uh, possessed, right? But you can be oppressed by demonic thoughts, by troubling thoughts of your past, and so forth, and, and I'm going to tell you, I, I don't have everything nailed, but when you fast and you diligently seek the Lord, I'm going to tell you, those troubling thoughts leave. I mean, uh, yeah, God can do it, man. When, when he's, he's a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. So, you know, I'm going to say, I, I've never smoked cigarettes, but I'm going to say, hey, man, you know, you're trying to get rid of your cigarette craving, even though you're a dry... They call them dry drunks. You still, uh, you don't drink alcohol, but you still have the desire. Man, God can take away that desire. Eddie Bumpus said, man, you get serious about God, he will get serious about you. So one of the things when you seek the Lord, man, a, a d- deliverance is a byproduct of that, man. You go in with faith and you seek God and you will get delivered from those troubling thoughts that plague you, you know? You know, and, and lots of other things happen too, like uh, the the Memphis exalts Jesus event. I was, uh, I got there, there's other there's so many things I can talk about. In the beginning of the year, the Lord had called me to do a fast, a 21 day fast, right? Me personally, privately, in my prayer time. Okay, all of a sudden, everybody starts. You know, we're gonna do, my church is gonna do a fast. We're gonna do 21 days and da da da. I'm like, well, that's the Lord. The Lord's calling everybody to a fast right now, okay? And then uh, towards the end of that fast, I get a a phone call out of the blue, which led to a series of events, which led me into this Memphis exalts Jesus thing. And I never, I, I don't know, who knows, if I wasn't fasting, would that have come about? I mean, we're here for the Memphis region for revival to take place. We're here to start the fires and stoke the fires of revival in this area. So what would have happened if I wasn't fasting? Now, it's insanely interesting that God calls a fast through his believing remnant people 
because you know you're you're basically not supposed to talk about it. You know, you're not supposed to go. Oh, I'm fasting. Look at me. You blow your trumpet. But I've noticed that all of a sudden, when God does that, everybody in social media starts talking about fasting. It's kind of amazing. So that's God. That's God, man. Anyway, I want to encourage you to consider fasting. We're going to talk about true fasting here in a minute. But here's here's a couple of verses. I'm just going to kind of shotgun these because, dude, there's so much on fasting in the Bible. So much. Like, here's a post-cross example of an excellent, an excellent thing that happened during fasting. In Acts 13, 2 through 4, they, the, the church was gathered together, right? As they ministered to the Lord and fasted. Now, I want you to think about that. Ministering to the Lord and fasted. Now, pray about what that means, okay? As they ministered to the Lord and fasted, the Holy Ghost said. I mean, you could just think about this verse all day. Fasting isn't five minutes. Fasting is going without food. That's one of the bi- that's one of the things fasting is. It's going without food. Denying your selfish lusts. That's what it is. As they ministered to the Lord and fasted. So this was a protracted meeting. Then, notice, the Holy Ghost said. He spoke while they were fasting. And then he gives them instructions. Check it out. Separate me, Barnabas and Saul, for the work wherein to I have called them. And then they fasted some more. And when they had fasted and prayed, they laid their hands on them and sent them away. So they, being sent forth by the Holy Ghost, departed into Seleucia, and from thence they sailed to Cyprus. See, this is this is a meeting. And, you know, one of the things that we do in church today is everybody comes so they can eat. <laughs> you know, let's have some food. But the believing remnant will come together to fast and pray. Amen? This is the remnant God is looking for. So... Remember that. Remember this passage. As they ministered to the Lord and fasted, the Holy Ghost said, "That's the kind of power we, as the believing remnant, should have." Amen. Acts fourteen twenty three. Here's another thing. And when they had ordained them elders in every church and had prayed with fasting, they committed them to the Lord on whom they believed. Any time you do anything important in the body of believers, you gotta fast and pray. Amen. So fasting and praying is very important. Now we're going to talk about true fasting after this. God bless everyone. This is the Kid Renegade Redeemed with Forever Redeemed Ministries at the number 4 EVA Redeemed.com. You are listening to Coffee with Conrad on ConradRocks.net. Oh my cry, oh God, to love to my Thank you for visiting ConradRocks.net. Conrad Rocks is supported by people just like you. If you've been blessed by Conrad Rocks, please prayerfully consider giving an offering. You can conveniently do so by using the Contribute button on the sidebar at conradrocks.net. Regular contributors get a spot on the Conrad's Comrades page, which links back to the blog or social media of your choice. You can also help Conrad Rocks by sharing your favorite posts on Facebook. Thanks again for being a part of Conrad Rocks. Remember, Jesus rules. Welcome back. We're talking about fasting today. We're talking about the joy of fasting, the spiritual benefits in the spirit realm that are awesome, and the benefits in the health realm. Now, you know, just praise the holy name of Jesus. Lord, I I thank you, Lord, for a relationship. Lord, I thank you that you have our best interests in heart. Praise God. Thank you, Father God. Now, we're going to be talking about, we're going to finish this out with true fasting. There are some some, um, scriptures to talk about what a true fast is. You know, Jesus chides the Pharisees for fasting in front of men, you know, and Jesus also says to fast in secret, okay? And, yeah, I do that, but 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 I get so excited about the benefits in the spirit realm and in the health that, you know, I just got to share this with you. This is an amazing thing. Um, now, true fasting, though, and there's a few scriptures that I wanted to talk about. And I know a lot of you like, oh, well, Connor is talking about fasting. Was he talking about true fasting? You know, like the real, true, contrite heart thing. And yeah, we're going to get into that. Joel 2.12, Therefore also now saith the Lord, turn ye even to me with all your heart and with fasting and with weeping and with mourning. I, 
notice that fasting brings about change. You know, we're wanting America to repent. But guess what? They're not, you've got to repent. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves, then I'll hear the land. Let the heathen be the heathen. <laughs> okay. We've got to come out of her, my people, be not partaker of her sins, nor receive of her plagues. And we've also, that's Revelation 18, 4, and we've also got to do the repentance. We've got to do it. We've got to turn to the Lord with all of our heart and with fasting, with weeping and mourning. Remember how God, before he judged Sodom, there were people crying out to God about this wicked city, okay? But today, we live in America, so we want God to come down and not, we want America to repent. We want a great awakening. That's what we want. So we've got to fast with our heart. Now, let's say that you're just fasting just to get the health benefits. Well, then you're missing the boat about with all your heart, right? You're not fasting for health benefits with all your heart, okay? You're not weeping, and you're not mourning. So we need to beseech the Lord diligently with a contrite heart. Isaiah 58, 3 through 7, this is the famous one that people like to quote about true fasting. And it, it, it says a lot, too. Wherefore have we fasted, say they, and thou seest not? Wherefore have we afflicted our soul, and thou takest no knowledge? Behold, in the day of your fast you find pleasure and exact all your labors. Behold, you fast for strife and debate and to smite with the fist of wickedness. See, they're fasting for the wrong reasons. Ye shall not fast as you do this day to make your voice be heard on high. Is it such a fast that I've chosen? A day for a man to afflict his soul? Is it to bow down his head as a bulrush and spread sackcloth and ashes under him? Will thou call this a fast, an acceptable day to the Lord? Then he goes on to verse 6. Is not this the fast that I have chosen? To loose the bands of wickedness, to undo the heavy burdens, to let the oppressed go free, and that you break every yoke. Yoke. Is it not to deal thy bread to the hungry, and that thou bring the poor that are cast out into thy house? When thou seest the naked, thou shalt cover him, and thou shalt hide not thyself from thine own flesh. Now listen to what happens if we truly fast, right? In verse 8, Then shall thy light break forth as the morning, and thine health shall spring forth speedily. What? What? Let me read that again. Then shall thy light break forth as the morning, and thine health, 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 shall spring forth speedily, and thy righteousness shall go before thee, and the glory of the Lord shall be thy re-reward. Amen. And there's more. Then thou shalt call on the Lord, and the Lord shall answer. Thou shalt cry, and he shall say, Here I am, if thou take away from the midst of thee the yoke, and the putting forth the finger, and speaking vanity. Verse 10, And if thy draw out the soul to the hungry and satisfy the afflicted soul, then then shall thy light rise in obscurity, and thy darkness be as the noonday. And the Lord shall guide thee continually and satisfy thy soul in drought and make fat thy bones. And thou shalt be like a watered garden and like a spring of water whose, whose waters fail not. And anyway, it continues on. But I'm telling you, true fasting with a contrite heart, that's what God is looking for. Amen? So, you know, I got, I'm going to make a note here to include these scriptures in the show notes. So wherever you hear these show, uh, this show, there will be the scriptures inside the show notes so you can look them up. God bless you. Now, remember to share this episode with your friends and also, watch that movie. Uh, it's free online. Just get online, free, uh, fat, sick, and nearly dead.com. It's free. You just click a link. It's free. Now, um, offerings are not doing so hot right now, so please pray about contributing uh, to the support page at conradrocks.net. Email prayer requests as well, conrad at conradrocks.net. Just remember, conrad at conradrocks.net. God bless you. Thank you for being in my life. Until we meet again, dig deeper 
and go higher. Hi, this is John with John Shaba House. This is the Kid Renegade Redeemed with Forever Redeemed Ministries. This is Tiffany White with Hey Ministries. This is Dan the Coffee Man. This is Glenda Linkus from WingsOfProphecy.com. Jill Dyson from Angel Street Ministry. This is Just Take Up Ministry for Women. This is Marianne Sanson from Google Plus. This is Charles Michael from France. With Inspiration Ministries.org. Christine White on the Stander for the Lord. This is Janet with Overcoming Abuse. God's way. Spreading-joy.org. This is Gerald Thomas in New Hebron, Mississippi. This is the Mordecai from Oklahoma. This is Vicki at Michael's House of New Beginnings. This is Stephen Barrett from Holy Fire, Japan. We are Andy Coffee with Conrad. ConradRock.net. Do you rule? Conrad Rock. Dig deeper, go higher at comradrocks.net.